I would like to present things from the perspective of Israel. I don't want to go into the global and regional perspective, perhaps also because you've, also, you've heard from my previous, my previous speakers about this. So we must remember that the framework within which Israel is operating is a chaotic one. Not only within the Middle East, a lot of it is in the Middle East, but it's also true for the general system, the global System. And now the question is, within this framework, what is the right step for Israel to take? I think that we should adopt five principles, guiding principles, for our modus operandi. One, we must understand that no matter what happens around us, we have a symmetry, a basic asymmetry between us and the, uh, our surroundings. We are going to remain a small country that is surrounded by large countries. We are in basic asymmetry with our surroundings and therefore we must find good quality solutions for these for these factors that cannot be changed. Number two, as far as the eye can see and as much as we can anticipate the world view of the countries around us and those factors on the street in the Arab countries that have become more prominent, Israel will be under threat in the future as well because for the, mo for the most part the population around us do not accept our existence. It doesn't matter how big we are as a country. And therefore we have come to number three, which is very important to us. We will be living for many years to come according to the strength and power we have, according to the sword that we hold, even if we don't use it. At the end of the day, we will have many friends, even allies, because there are all sorts of changes that are taking place, and I will talk about that later. But all of these will be our friends and allies, and they will only keep our agreements for one reason, because they will appreciate us and know that we are strong. Once they think we are not, their entire conduct will change. Moreover, our ability to preserve ourselves outside of regional wars depends on being perceived as strong by our surroundings. The moment our surroundings feel we are weak, there will be very strong factors who will pressure the decision makers, even if they don't want to do it, to conduct themselves differently vis-à-vis -vis Israel. And our ability to maintain quiet in this area is the, in basis our strength. And number five, we cannot predict how the events in this area will result and what the end of them will be. We have very little effect on what is happening in the region by carrying out our own Israeli actions. Even if we do the most fantastic thing that people are expecting of us and sign a peace accord with Palestinians, it will change nothing in terms of the basic gaps that are now leading and driving driving the behavior and conduct of countries in the area. It will be very nice, it will be very good, but it will have very little effect, very marginal, negligent effect on the goings on within Israel. We cannot really impact what is happening around us significantly.